All right, welcome back, guys, to another Modern Warfare 2 video. Today, I want to be going over the underbarrel shotgun uh, attachment. It's been buffed not too long ago, so now you have yourself a little bit of recoil stabilization. So it kind of makes it to where that your gun will have less like horizontal recoil, and it doesn't really do like a massive change. You would probably want to stack it with another attachment in order to get a real big difference out of it. But it does add a little bit of a benefit to the actual underbarrel attachments. Uh, the same thing goes for the underbarrel grenade launcher. But I'm going to be covering the shotgun in this video, the grenade launcher later on. And uh, for this one, uh, they also removed the whole moving speed penalty and made it to where they now sight speed penalty is the only thing that really is left. And actually has about the same aim down sight penalty as all the other grips and things like that throughout the entire selection. So what's cool about this shotgun, you can actually tune it. So I recommend tuning the shotgun for full damage range and also going for walking speed. So what this will do is allow your shotgun to be most effective at its longest range. It's around 8 meters if you're fully aiming down sight for its uh, effective one-shot kill range. Which for normal shotguns, that's the normal one-shot kill very consistently shooting from the hip. So obviously the shotgun is not supposed to be incredibly uh broken or it's not supposed to be like on the same level as the normal uh, actual utilized shotguns here but we'll go along uh, with this anyway and uh, showing this off the first target you'll see in the actual gun range is up to 10 meters so they're going to be at the 10 meter mark as shown as a 10 number there and normally if I'm shooting at a target let's say if I put my crosshairs and spread over their uh, body here they'll take three shots in order to kill so it has a four round uh, tube or four uh, shell capacity. But if you actually aim towards their uh, lower part of their torso, towards their legs, you get yourself a two shot kill with that. So it makes it to where that you want to be aiming below center mass of the body, or actually the dead center of the entire body. And what that will do is give you way higher coverage for the entire body that you'll be hitting. Obviously it's not going to be as consistent, of course, it's not going to be very consistent, it's still being a shotgun, so there is a little bit of randomness. You'll have a lot more consistency with that spot where you're aiming at. So let's go ahead and wait for this thing to get back up. Again, two shot kill right there. So you can also do that if you really wanted to. If you want to steady your shot, you can do aim, walk, and steadiness. And what that will do is steady your shot a little bit more when you're actually walking around. And uh, you get to make it to where that the actual thing doesn't really sway as much when you're walking. That would be actually really dang neat. So a really neat underbarrel attachment. You can't really go wrong with it. It's not going to be like really crazy. So the best way I could possibly uh, describe it is practically it is the Commando 4 grip of... Uh, or a lethal version of the Commando Forward. This Commando Foregrip gives aiming idle stability and recoil stabilization. Uh, when you go to the shotgun, you get aiming walking stability, so it's kind of the same, but you have to be moving for that for strafing, and you also get aiming stability for it. So it's not too bad at all, and both of them are at a cost of aiming down sight. So to be honest with you, if you guys want to have a little bit of weight to your gun while still having a small amount of uh, recoil that you want to have a little bit of benefit but don't hurt your aim down sight speed at all the underbarrel shotgun is way way better so i recommend running with this and uh what's really neat you can use a uh, fast hand on here so it is technically acting as its own shotgun more or less uh, for its actual four round capacity you can have up to uh 20 rounds in total so you can go actually on a pretty long streak with just the actual ammunition type or the uh, default ammunition for it. And that'll make it to where they're able to just uh, absolutely just mess people up. So I think the shotgun is really cool. It shoots a little bit slower than the Expedite. I'll actually show that off in a little bit. Or an Expedite without the uh, light bolt on there. So that's the best way I could possibly compare it. It's just going to be a pocket version of the Expedite shotgun. So let's go ahead and compare that. So that's a whole spread to the Expedite while I'm shooting from the hip. And there is the spread of the 12 gauge. So actually, shooting from the hip, 
by a default setting without any kind of attachments. You can't put any kind of attachments on there, but it is a bit better than the default version of the Expedite, which is really solid. So, also with that, there's the fire rate. So it's about the same fire rate as Expedite. So, by default, it is pretty much the standard uh, Expedite with a little bit tighter uh, hip spread. So, it's not too bad at all. You can also get yourself a really solid follow-up shot. And it makes it to where that if you have uh, any kind of uh, assault rifle with you, you have the really awesome uh, forgiveness of a close range shotgun. And you can also swap back to your fully automatic assault rifle or anything along those lines. So you can fire once and then go right back. Uh, what's cool about that is also the uh, shotgun is fairly fast at aiming. At, uh, or switching between your shotgun and your assault rifles. If I'm going to be showing that off here. Uh, I want to go ahead and jump off of this and then turn this one back into a assault rifle with the shotgun. Let's go ahead and do that. And we're also going to remove past hands there. So now let's go ahead and get this out. So compare it. So this is a normal assault rifle. Swap to the shotgun. And then the assault rifle swapping over to the handgun without quick draw. So it's actually about the same speed as uh, switching to your normal handgun without the quick draw attachment. And obviously with the quick draw attachment you'll be able to have that out. So what I like to do actually is to have a little bit of a weird setup for this entire gun. Because you can technically have like three guns out all at once if you really want to. So what I do is go over to the trigger, and I'll go for like fire rate, and then also go to the uh, faster draw grip. There we go. Oh, actually, I can just do this. So you can be shooting at people, and then swap back. So that's one thing I want to talk about there. So if you do have a, uh, oh. So that if you do have the shotgun out, you cannot switch to your handgun while you're in it. So that's one thing I want to point out. It does make it to where that you cannot use your handgun at any point when you are using the shotgun. However, it is actually really dang solid when it comes to overall spread. So again, standard uh, spread for the actual Expedite. And uh, to also compare this again, we're also going to go back and... Uh, the overkill and then swap over to expedite. Let's go ahead and hammer it with attachments, right? So uh, we can't put on any kind of larger barrel, but let's go ahead and do the Bryson choke. Uh, the under barrel, let's do the pineapple grip, the laser. Let's do the point G3P. Uh, what else? Let's do the fire rate as well. And I think that's really about it. I'll possibly put on to make it to where it's better. So now. So again, this is using the actual shotgun, and this is the aiming down sight full uh, spread there. And you also have the Expedite, which is actually about the same. Uh, so it's going to be like a fully kitted out uh, version of the Expedite when you're aiming down sight with it. So that is one thing to point out. So it, it will have the same range as a Expedite shooting from the hip, or a fully kitted out Expedite shooting from the hip, which isn't too bad at all. So it's really solid gun, and I just wanted to compare it to that. It's not too bad. Not even expedite takes three rounds in order to kill someone like that. Again, you can use uh, fast hands after you grab that perk. You can, or after you gain it, you are able to actually use that, and you can reload the, the rounds way faster. Now there is no actual attachment selection for it. Even at that range, that's three shots in order to kill them. So yeah, definitely an underrated attachment. So like back in uh, Modern Warfare 2019, the underbarrel shotgun it only had like a fixed four rounds in there, and you can have up to like a total of eight 
but then you had like no reserve ammo at all, so there was no reload animation, no nothing for it. So. Again, when you're aiming around, aim for the hip. Or aim for uh, below center mass. My goodness. So yeah, so this can be put on air onto just about every single assault rifle. The STB, the cast off 764. Or uh, not 764. Yeah, the pretty much the little version or the SMG version of the uh, or is it AK-47 there. Yeah, that's 7.64, and uh, so you won't want to have it on there or the Chimera. So uh, all the assault rifles built more so for quick handling, and uh, more so like along the lines of SMG handling, you will not be able to put on a shotgun on, put a shotgun on it. But every single uh, assault rifle, you can put on, or you can put a shotgun on every single assault rifle outside of those few exceptions. Uh, one of the battle rifles, which is the uh, the F tank recon, you can put one on there. You can actually put on a shotgun on one of the other shotguns, the uh, semi auto, like what is it, broadside, KV broadside shotgun. So the thing that was really broken uh, a while ago, you can put another shotgun on there. So technically, even though that fully automatic shotgun is nerfed, you can still use the under barrel and still get way more use out of it. So kind of a weird thing for them to double down on shotgun attachments, but you can use it on there. And then finally, you have a marksman rifle, which came in the newer uh, mid-season 2 update, or season 2 reloaded, with the new Tempest uh, rifle. So it is going to be called the uh, Tempest Torrent. Yeah, the Tempest Torrent rifle. It's going to be on the same platform as the M4, so it will share the same shotgun. And you're able to use that if you wanted to. So all those guns will be able to share this exact same attachment. It is not a bad idea to run it, especially on a marksman rifle or a battle rifle, because you can kit those guns out for real long ranges and slow handling. And you have your silver shotgun, so you can swap over to that, so you can go indoors and be very effective in close quarters, while still having your primary gun kitted for longer ranges. So it adds a ton of flexibility to your play style. Absolutely recommend it. So let me know what you guys think about this down in the comments. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.